your nose is a little bit, uh, nose is moving a little bit there. You, you should probably go check, get that checked out. Hey guys, what's up? This is Boss Hog from Golden Sword Zinc and I'm here and I'm heading down to the testing chamber where we have a very special event today and I'm wearing my new, um, and what we're doing today is the witchery mod and, um, for this display, we've set up with the town, uh, council a, uh, kind of a witchcraft show-off, um, down here in the testing chamber, but it's gonna be open to the public, but, um, we're setting up here now, so I'm gonna get my, um, uniform on for helping this out, for helping out with this. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna take the hat. It's a very pointed hat, but I don't think everybody in there has a pointed hat. Um, so this is what the witchery or the witchcraft, uh, tunic, cloak, whatever it looks like. I'm just, I'm just gonna wear the hat. I don't really care. And it's got a pointy hat. All right, so we go in here. All of these witches are here setting up displays. Professor Pig's in here helping. And this is my friend Henry. And, um, he's not really a witch and he's not really with town council, but he's having a little trouble with the ladies. So I kind of brought him here and see, she doesn't have a hat. She's got kind of like a gemstone on. So I was fine to wear, not wear mine. But it looks like Henry's a little bit nervous. But anyway, he's not part of the mod showcase. This is part of the mod showcase. We're going to help them set up all of their stuff. So the first thing that you're going to need um, in the witchery mod is probably the books. But we're not going to go over how to craft the books. Um, we can, I guess. I can show you. Um, to do The first one you're going to need is collecting fumes. And you need a witch's oven to do that. And this is the recipe for the witch's oven. So we're just going to put this right in here. We're going to use... Five iron ingots in a hat form, an iron bar in the in the center, and a bucket on top, and it makes a witch's oven. So we're gonna place this witch's oven right there, and then um, we're going to need you're gonna need clay jars, which is pretty much uh, soft clay jars smelted. And how you make soft clay jars is four pieces of clay or three pieces of clay in the middle, and then one on top, and it'll make four soft clay jars. And then you just smelt them, obviously. Um, coal, you know how to do that. Um, I'm going to grab the book and I'm going to grab the Rowan sapling and what you do is right click on the witch's oven and it'll give you this interface. So all you got to do is put coal in here, put the jars in there. It's kind of self-explanatory. It's like a, it's like a furnace, but, um, with a couple extra parts. And so what you can do, oh, what you can do with this book is you can right click on it and it will tell you, uh, it'll give you an entire thing. Um, the oven cannot smelt ore. Um, it does cook a little faster than a furnace, so you can't cook food, I believe. Um, it tells you how to do it. Uh, place clay jars into the oven when cooking to collect the fumes, food, and um, wood uh, makes foul flame. Cooking saplings produces wood ash and also might release a gaseous essence of the tree. And these are the different essences that you can get. You can From oak, you can get Exhale of the Horned One, Birch, Breath of the Goddess, Spruce, Hint of Rebirth, Rowan, Whiff of Magic, Hawthorn, Order of Purity, Alder, Reek of Misfortune. So how you're go so we're going to use the Rowan sapling because it makes the whiff of magic and that's going to be used in here. So all you do is you just place the sapling in here and it'll start going like a furnace. Um, and then this isn't guaranteed. Every time you do this, it is not guaranteed that you will get a um, that you'll get like a jar or a whiff of essence because we've tried that before and it didn't work and we couldn't figure out why. But what we're going to use the whiff of magic for and that's this is why I use this specific one is to make a certain stone that you need to craft the next two different items. And this is just basics. This is not like, I'm not going over the entire mod. That would take forever. But this is a very well thought out mod. Um, hello, Poppy Stormwind. Your nose is a little bit, uh, nose is moving a little bit there. You, you should probably go check, get that checked out. Anyway, um, so what you can use the Whiff of Magic for is you can use it to make an attuned stone. And you need a Whiff of Magic, a diamond, and a lava bucket and you get a tune stone and what you can do with that a tune stone is use it with two gold ingots next to it four iron ingots on top um kind of like a clay jars and then two two more clay jars and you can make the distillery and i'm just going to place the distillery right there and go over the rest of this stuff so um all of this stuff you need uh clay jars for the distillery as well there's also a book on distilling and I'm going to take all of these parts because these are all different things that you can um, put in the distillery and it'll give you different things out. So what you can do, what you got to do is place it in there, put clay jars there, and then you can choose. Um, the book goes through different things. Uh, oh, shoot. 
Okay, so it gives you uh, ensure a distillery is near an altar to get power. I'll show you guys the altar in a little bit. Um, two, place the items into the distillery according to the number of clay jars. Uh, wait for the process, blah, 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 blah. Um, so these are some of the things that you can distill. You can do foul flame and quick lime to get gypsum, oil vitriol, and slime ball, and breath of goddess and lapis, which I think I'm showing you guys that one with three clay jars. We'll get you all three of the, or all four of these. Um, these two will get you these three and pretty much so on and so forth. And so we're going to get right into that. So we're going to use the Breath of Goddess and we're also going to use the Lapis Lazuli. And I think we need to set up the altar. So I'm going to do that really quick. Go down here, grab the altar. Um, so this is, these are the altars. I didn't plan on showing you guys or getting everything around to show you guys how to craft these. So all you're going to need is two stone bricks, Rowan wood, two Rowan wood. Um, an Exile of the Horned One, Breath of Goddess, and a Water Bottle, and you get three altar frames, and you're going to need six altar frames, or you're going to need six altars. And so what you do with these altars is you take it and you um, pretty much place it down. I don't know where to put this. Um, I think you're standing in the way. Um, Burial Wild, I think is how you say that. I'm not sure. So I'm going, oh, I don't know why I did that, but okay. Um, so I'm going to, so you place it, um, Two by three, I think is what that's called. Two by three right there. And now, now the distillery is working. So it does take um, stuff to do that. And it's also using power from the altar. And um, if you right click on the altar, it tells you how much power it has. So I'm going to show you guys some of this stuff. So this is the reason why I have all this stuff in here. Um, different things can affect different um, properties on your altar. So that time, the times one right here is um, what it takes or how fast it um, charges up. And this is the total power of it. So if I put this candelabra on there, it'll increase it by three, so that it'll go a lot faster. And so by by default, this will go faster. Um, so if I put the torches down as well, it'll also oh I guess it uh, cut it back down. That's weird. I've never had it do that before. But um, one of the other things you can put down is a filled chalice, and I didn't show you guys the crafting recipe for that. But it'll give 240. It'll raise it up a bit. Wither skulls will raise it up quite a bit, and then crystal balls will also um, give it a little bit more recharge power. And however, you cannot um, crystal ball cannot get enough power from nearby altar. That's charge, whatever. All right. So once the process gets done, this is some of the stuff that you guys will get: tear of goddess, whiff of magic, foul flame, and slime ball. And so if we put the oil of vitriol and the diamond in here, we'll also get something else crafting out of this. And I don't know what it is, but I'll show you guys in a minute. Uh, so let me explain a little more on the altar. The altar uses natural power and living things around it in nature to give it more power. So it's like a natural power source for witchery, which is kind of needed because a lot of this stuff does have to do with um, nature. So what you can do is if it's near trees or if it's in the woods, it'll have way more power than what it is here because we don't have very many living things. But I'm going to fix that in a little bit after we get done showing you guys all this stuff. And we're going to go over uh, one, two, three, four. Um, I guess this is covered as one. So five different parts of witchery that will get you started and get you a good idea of what you're doing. So next one that we're going to do is um, diamond vapor and a t gas tier. And yeah, so we're going to wait and see um, what that brings. And then once we're done with this, we are going to go on to the next one. And actually, we can use the whiff of magic onto the next one already. So um, the distilling, I think I've already showed you this book, so I'm going to put those two up there. Right click. And so we're going to use the Whiff of Magic to make another um, a tune stone. And so what we do with that a tune stone is we will take this string, and this will make a kettle. So we're going to put that there. The cauldron goes in the bottom, and then two sticks on the top left and top right, and you get a kettle. And now these are really cool, and this is some of the stuff that you are going to need. Um, Hold on. Uh, the netherrack, flint and steel, bricks, and um, witchcraft brews is the book for this. So we're going to get all this stuff. And I believe I already had a block broken out here, so I'm just going to break this really quick. Yep, there we go. So what you're going to want to do, um, how I always have this set up is so it kind of looks natural, kind of, I, I guess. But yeah, this is the kettle sign up there for demonstration today. But what you do is you put the netherrack down, you put a flint and steel, and you light a fire. And then, no, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you in the fire? I just put that down there. Get, get out. Get out of the fire. Come on, get out of that hole. I had that there for a reason. So I'm just going to set this up, I guess. 
uh, right around you. Get out here. How do you have fire? Oh, you do have fire protection. That makes sense. I, I forgive you for that. All right, so this is kind of the stuff. Ooh, Resident Evil. I didn't know it would give me that, but okay. You are annoying me. Professor Pig, get her out of here. Ah, thanks. All right, anyway, um, I can't really do this demonstration with you in there, so... Um, all of these swords. They have all of these choices. She has... Oh, there we go. There we go. I didn't have to kill anyone today. All right, so what you got to do is put down the fire. No, you are not coming in here. And then all you got to do is put the kettle on top of the fire, and you are going to need um, a fire underneath it. That's why I suggest another rack because it burns forever. I just made this look real. Um, I just made it look kind of like a natural oven would, so we don't actually need that anymore. So I've got some things in here that we're going to need, and you can find all of these naturally occurring in the world. Um, wool of bat, you can kill a bat for, obviously. But these are all things that you are going to need to make um, different dif different brews. So we're gonna sh I'm going to show you three different ones. Brew of Frost, Brew of Webs, and Brew of Ink. And these are all kind of defensive. And um, so if you your enemy is coming and you want to run away from them, um, you can just get away from them really quickly, I guess, I, is the best way I can explain that. So you're going to need those ingredients. And you are also going to need a water bucket and some glass bottles. So what you can do is when you're looking in the um, book, it obviously will tell you how to do all this stuff. And then it'll tell you the different ways you can brew stuff. And some of it takes power from the altar. Some of it takes power from you because as you get better at your witchcraft skills, you get more power or more um, experience as a witch or wizard or whatever you want to call yourself. So you can do different ones. There's an absolute ton of them. Now, I can't really tell you what all of them do because I haven't really tried out all that many of them. So what you do to get the kettle working is you right click on it with a water bucket and it'll start doing this and all you have to do is start throwing this stuff in it, literally throwing it. This is probably like the most fun part of the mod. Um, so what you do is you right is you hit Q and it'll go in there and it'll change color and you know that's when it'll do that or you know that it's gone in when it changes color. So um, that was an ice needle, that's water artichoke, mushroom, snowball, and glistening melon and you'll know that one of them is complete. Um, um, why is it not working? All right, where is the frost? Um, odor of purity. Yeah, I put that up. Ah. All right, so, and you can also use a water bucket to get it back out and put it back in again. All right, I'm going to go through this and I'm going to get all this stuff back. I don't know what happened there, but I guess we'll see. Um, so I'll be, I'll bring the video right back when I get it all done. Alright guys, so I'm an idiot. I figured out why it's not working after a long process of trial and error. Um, turns out for the Brew of Frost, you need 1,000 Altar Power, and as of right now, we have 400, so that's not going to work for that one. But I'll show you guys what the Brew of Frost does. So what you can do is if you have a Brew of Frost and your enemy is coming at you and you're running away from them, you right click and it'll throw up a barrier of ice. And it's pretty cool, except for it's going to melt now because, um, yeah, it's going to melt because of that. So if you have like an, if you also, this is something really cool that I found out. So Professor Big, I'm going to use you as an example. Don't worry, I'll thaw you right out. So what you do is if you want to like keep an, keep an animal like really safe. Um, no, no, you're my, ex ah, fine. Um, you ma'am, what is your name? Darla Crowley or you. If you throw a, po if you throw one of these potions at it, it'll capture it in a block of ice. I don't know if that was a smart idea because now it's just going to melt and yeah, that's unfortunate. Alright guys, so the next one we're going to look at is the Brew of Webs and I don't think for this one you have to have any altar power whatsoever. Yep, you don't. Okay, so what you're going to make a... I'm going to put these buckets back. Um, I'm going to hold on to that, put that in there. So I'm going to take these glass bottles, this, water bo this uh, bucket of water, and then dense web, mushroom, wool of bat, belladonna flower, Whiff of Magic and Dandelion. You're going to need a lot of Whiff of Magic for this. Um, and I 
kind of forgot about that. But anyway, all you got to do is just start throwing it in there. Oh, that's right. I don't have the water in there. Throw that in there and then start throwing them in. It'll change colors. And then once you have everything in, it'll start giving off these little slime particles. See, they're like little green things flying off of there. So what you do is you take your glass bottles and you right click and it will give you different ones. And if you, you can keep clicking until it runs out. And so brew of webs, who wants to be my example for that? Jeffrey, so if, or Henry, la, ah, sorry, you're not a penguin. Um, so if you take a, if you take one of the webs and you throw it at somebody and something, it'll get trapped in spider webs. And it's a really cool way to slow down your enemy, especially if it's like a monster trying to get you. Um, one more for luck. All right, guys, so the next one that we're going to look at and the last one for this is the um, brew of ink. So what we're going to do is take the glass bottles, the water bucket, ink sac, quick lime, oil, vit oil of vitriol, belladonna flower, rowan berries, and slime ball. Ooh, uh, slime ball. And so right click and start throwing stuff in. You guys get the idea of how this stuff works. And so do all this stuff. It'll start giving off those slime particles and then right click on it and just keep right clicking until it gives every until it's all out like it is now the brew of ink if I throw that at myself you get blindness so you, it'll give your enemy blindness so you can make a quick escape if you're already ahead of him and um, you can hide somewhere crouch and then he'll never know where to find you so these are really all defensive um, brews that you can make so we're gonna put that up there and we're gonna put all this stuff in here because we don't really need any of this stuff anymore um, so the last thing that we're going to look at, actually, I need to go downstairs for. This is all hush hush because um, Professor Pig and I, um, we're kind of the only ones that know about this. That is a secret door, by the way. And this is our um, this is our secret bunker for when crap hits the fan. Uh, we all go down here and um, kind of hide in case there's like a nuclear war. And this is all this is a ton of the stuff that you can use for um, circle magic, which is absolutely probably my favorite part. Of this mod it's amazing you can do all kinds of different circle magic um, so some of the stuff that we're gonna look at um, is right here so what we're gonna look at first is I believe the right of binding which binds a waystone to a certain position and I forgot to show you guys um, some of the stuff that you need to start out with for circle magic that you absolutely have to is all of this chalk so the first thing you're gonna need is to make ritual chalk which you can make with gymsum which is something you get from the distillery I believe wood ash and then a tear of the goddess and it gives you two chalk and what the two chalk will do is if you want to make a ritual circle you can right click on the ground and it'll start using up their ability but it won't actually um it won't actually um, erase the chalk right away so i'm going to get rid of these two symbols and i'm going to show you guys a quicker way of doing it and anyway you could craft you got to use this to craft um all the other kinds so for this you have to use two lapis um one ender pearl and then two water artichokes and then for this one, you have to use two rose red dye, two ember moss, and a blaze powder. And you get two infernal chalk. And then for golden chalk, you need three gold, three gold nuggets, two to, um, four dandelion yellow, a redstone, and then one piece of ritual chalk. And this one is kind of like the center piece of it. This is the circle, or this is the center of the circle. So we're going to put all this stuff back. And I'm going to show you guys because there is an easier way to do this, or easy way to use it. And the easier way to use it is um, with these circles and these circle talismans. And what you can do is there's a circle, there's a regular circle talisman. And so, oh, I did not mean to do that. So what you need is one diamond and then four gold ingots around the outside. And so what you can do with this is if you have a circle that you want to get rid of, um, I'll actually, I can actually show you guys this in a little bit. But all you got to do is, um, there's a spell in here, I believe it's one of the very first ones. Yeah, pulls the talisman into the circle, any circles allowed, circle talisman, redstone, ultra power is a thousand, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, it's kind of kind of a funny thing, but it actually really works well. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this down, and it'll automatically make a circle, and that's circle talisman. And it'll automatically make a circle of white chalk at the right size for this first spell. So what we're going to do is, all you got to do... A lot of this stuff is just throwing with Q. So you got to throw this out, this, this, and an attuned stone that's charged. Then you could right click on here. You right click on the center and it'll start giving off like these redstone particles. And now I have a bound waystone. And this is like a teleport, this is kind of like a teleportation ticket. So I've already got one set up for a, another place. 
And the right of teleportation is actually really useful because if you want to get somewhere fast, all you got to do is throw down this waystone. And this is the other one, not the one I bound here. Right click and it'll bring it there. It'll teleport you to the location where this waystone is bound within the circle. So we are as of right now up near where all the witches live overlooking the city. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw this bound waystone on the ground, right click, and it'll take us right back here. Um, okay, so maybe a little outside the circle, but that, that's okay. So the next thing we're going to look at is um, the is the one I always start off with whenever I'm making one. And sorry if my voice is a little cracky. I don't know why it's doing that. But um, this is the one I always start out with, which is the uh, nature's the nature's power, I believe. And all you need is a bunch of saplings, just a ton of saplings, um, the brew of sprouting from the distillery, and a medium ritual circle. So what you do is right click, then you just throw all of this stuff on the ground. And the reason why I do this all the time first is because, um, oh, why is this an unknown right? Um, moving earth, no, broiling. It just shows you how much of these there are. Um, nature's power, I need an 11 by 11. Uh, roof sprouting. Rowan sapling, alder, hawthorn. Ah, okay. I need a charged, charged attune stone. I don't mind if I give myself one of those because I'll just throw it away. All you got to do then is just right click on the ground, and I'll show you guys. This is why I love doing this one first because it charge it supercharges your altar, and it's free. It doesn't take any altars around it. And what it'll do is it'll start growing grass on stone on the same level, grow trees. And it's just an amazing spell, and I hope that nothing is growing upstairs, but the altar should be going up in power as this is going. And if it ever gets to a point where you want to stop, oh, 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 oh no, 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 I don't like that. But yeah, now it's over 3,000, so if there, at any point you want to stop the ritual, um, you guys didn't see that up there, uh, you can just break the block down, or you can just break the front thing down, ow! Ah, stupid ember grass. Um, you can just break this ritual chalk right here, and it will, it should stop the spell from going. And so we've got over 3,000 power up there now, so that should be fine. Um, so the next one we're going to look at, I'm actually going to take, uh, the next two actually I'm going to take upstairs, because one of them is summoning back Bartholomew, who tragically died in the Tinker's Construct showcase because Professor Pig told me that he wasn't the pig we were using as a demonstration. Quite sad. So I'm going to have to break some of this stuff, unfortunately. Um, so what we're going to do is this is a large ritual, and I don't know where to place this now because I've um, done a little bit of, so I can't place it there or there or there, there. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. So there we have the huge circle. So this is going to take um, us all up with it. Uh, Brew of Sprouting, Cactus, and Glow Sun Dust. This is one of my favorites as well. Um, I guess you two girls are going for the ride as well. So right click on this, and this is the right of moving Earth. Oh my goodness, That's, I just love using this spell because um, it raises up an entire section of earth around this thing. Whoa, whoa, that is so weird. I didn't know it would do that. But I guess um, um, we'll have to fix that later. So, and then what, what happens underneath is, whoa, I wonder what the downstairs looks like now. Oh, I guess I can go down there. Oh, yeah, um, that's a little weird. Alright, but anyway, it, as you guys can see, it raises up an entire section of Earth, which is an absolutely cool and amazing thing to do. So for the last thing that we're going to do in this showcase is we are going to resurrect Bartholomew, because he died, unfortunately. He was my pet pig. <laughs> you. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to need, so what you're going to need to resurrect a, it's not even resurrection, it's um, a rite of summoning. It's summoning a familiar to find things, but it's also Bartholomew because uh, this is what he got turned into when he died. Um, so you need drop a luck, raw pork chop, gold ingot, um, Arthana, and I also need 2,000 altar power, and we have now almost got 4,000. So all I got to do is just start throwing this stuff on the floor. These four, right click, and it'll start taking all these up. Bartholomew! Oh my goodness, you beautiful pig, you. You're a little small. And, oh! Oh, Henry! Henry, no! I'll get rid of that for you, bud. Uh, but anyway, this is, um, 
Bartholomew's back, and he'll follow you. He's your uh, bound spectrum, and he can sit. You can give him. Uh, you can actually give him uh, different things, and he'll try and find the ores. So if I give him a diamond, he'll change color, and if he finds something, um, there'll be a little chat bar in the bottom left corner, and it'll say oink oink, and he'll be sitting down where it is, uh, which is an awesome power. I absolutely love it when they do that because it's so cool. Um, Bartholomew, we're going to get you back to regular size, and we're going to get you some skin. Um, Harley, who isn't here, she's our residential witch of Golden Swords Inc. Oh, there we go. See, look, he just did it. Henry, get out of the way. Um, so if you dig down right here, somewhere in this area, there will be a diamond. And you can also do it with, um, you can do it with emeralds, I believe. Uh, let me just check really quick. Oh! I guess he disappeared. I don't know. I have no idea. All right, guys, but I think that's going to be it for us for today. Uh, we got a lot of, whew, whew, we got a lot of cleaning up to do for this, um, for this witch show. But I think this is going to be it for us for today, guys. It's a little bit chaotic, but it was actually a really, this is a really cool mod. I really suggest it. Um, I will give you guys the link to the mod to the Minecraft forum page in the description below. And if you do like this showcase, then definitely go back and check out some of our other ones. Uh, Tinker's Construct, I know, was a huge, huge video. It was a huge hit. And I thank every one of you guys for watching it and say, and uh, liking it. Um, it was amazing. I can't believe we got that many views on a video, even though um, our uh, Minecraft Jammy Furniture mod has over 20,000. I think it may, might have over 25, uh, 2,500. No, it's got at least 25. Yeah, 25,000. Sorry, my bad. I'm bleh. Um, I also got a new shirt, by the way. I also got a new uniform. Um, they thought I was a little too casual for work. So, anyway. All right, guys. I think that's going to be it from us for today. So, for me, DJ Heartline 3, Professor Pig, and everybody else that works at Golden Swords Inc. and is here to help set up for the witch show, like Emily, witch, uh, we will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Henry. Don't run into that cobweb. What's wrong with you?